Hey, what's up? It's me, Vaughn. Um, I'm here at Kutztown. You know, not having a good time. <sighs> what kind of school is this? Why is this what I'm... First of all, I'm making this video. That should not be what I paid thousands and thousands of dollars to do. There's no game room. The TV downstairs is busted. No remote. Why is that the TV they had? Somebody was making noodles a couple weeks back. He set an alarm and made me get up at 2 o'clock in the morning for a fire alarm. Got a test the next day. It didn't go to it. Um, there's a little other thing I like to talk about, mention here. As you can see where Thomas is sitting, this is not a chair. This is a window seal. One that had the ability to get very cold at times. What reason was it? It didn't lock. The window didn't lock. Why is this the window that it had? Thousands of dollars for me to live here in this lovely little room. It looks like a jail cell. For those of you who've been on Ooh with me before, you've seen these walls. Why is this what it looks like? Why can't we get service in here and yet we can let 30 mile per hour winds? into our room. How can this window have the ability to decide, oh, I'm not going to let cell phone service in. No, no, that's not, that would be too convenient. But we're going to let 30 mile per hour winds in so people can't sleep at night, so they can catch colds? No. This is, this is Thomas, if you can tell. Um, I, I'd like to start by talking about this phone. It looks like your regular, your regular house phone you use to call and get calls on. Why did they place a phone in this room with a number that we can receive calls from, but we can't make calls out? What if one day there was an emergency? And God forbid these weird doors just kept us locked in this room. How would we get help? What would happen? You don't know the cell phone service anymore. Probably freeze that from the windows. Ah, uh, next I'd like to talk about these meal plans. We're given a 450 limit on our meal plan before it goes into our flex. And we have a certain amount of flex hours each semester. Why is it that only two out of the like six places on this campus where we can use that 450? But then other places they cost well over that just for the meal, not even the drink of the sides. It doesn't even taste good. One place we can go, the pizza place. The pizza's either extra cheesy and sliding off, like oil on a road, or just flat and deadly. Like a piece of paper. What kind of pizza looks like paper? And the other place, the buffet place. Oh, my goodness. oh boy. Why is that food consistently terrible? Consistently terrible. How do they put that type of quality in the food? And they said it was it got better from last year. I can only imagine what it tasted like. Actually, no, I can't begin to imagine. I couldn't imagine food tasting this bad. Another thing. Why can I not purchase a normal sized thing of orange juice anywhere on this campus? Why why don't they have stuff like that? They have all these weird energy drinks and uh, gosh, these weird naked fruit drinks. They don't have regular orange juice. What is this? Naked why, fruit. While it tastes good and it's very nutritional. Where is your basic orange juice? Why is that not able to be found on this campus? Another thing, what kind of campus does not have a toaster or a microwave anywhere, anywhere? Why are you allowed to have microwaves in your rooms? In your rooms. Just like you're not allowed to have cell phone service either.
You ever see um, on TV how they talk about don't flush the toilet while I'm in the shower, you know, it'll get cold? No. Who flushes the toilet in the shower gets burning hot? Why is that what happens? Like, oh, okay. We're going to heat up the, the toilets, the flush water. We're not going to heat these rooms, though. No, that's not what we want to heat. No, we want to... We want to put all the heat in there and flush toilets. Who cares about flush toilets to, that they're warm? And what Thomas was saying with these meal plans. What kind of food is that? Why is it I can go to Burger King and get three cheeseburgers for three dollars? Why can I get three double cheeseburgers for three dollars from Burger King? That's cool. That's in some in my eyes nowadays. That's quality food. But yet the meal plan that we have over there. It's four dollars and fifty cents for three three little pathetic thick chicken strips. This like about the size of my fingers, and I'm skinny. Then we get a little thing of soggy fries. I never had. Don't complain about Norse fries. No. No. Those fries are good. Eat them and enjoy them. I just don't know why they're doing this. You sit around here. Hold up. I sit around here doing my work on the weekends. I just want to enjoy myself. Okay, been a, been a few good parties every now and then, little hoes walking around, you know. What about the times when they're not? What about the times the only party I can attend is a smoke filled nicotine fest where people don't want to dance? No, they want to sit there and flood the room and my lungs. And the floors are like, they're like sponges. Why is he allowing people to do that to his floor? Like he, that guy lives there. Why is that what he thinks is acceptable? Like, oh, and don't, oh, oh, this guy on that side, he's on that side. Caesar, if you ever see this, you, your music sucks. Why do you listen to Madden soundtracks? And then now today, all of a sudden, you, you're a rock fan. Nigga, I got work to do. I got sleep to catch up on. Why is that what he listens to every day? Gucci and... I don't even know the names of these artists, like Spider Loke and stuff. Why, like... <clears throat> Attention all KU students. Due to the snow, the health center will be closed. The health center? The health center will be closed. Closed. Not open. Closed. You, due to the snow. Why is that closed for you? Of all things. Dixon Marketplace was open though, by the way. The health center will be closed. The marketplace was open. So you can sell naked drinks. Instead of a cold one too. Health center will be closed. The health center will be closed. What kind of walls are these? Why am I allowed to punch a hole through this wall? Why is the music able to see through like this? And I can hear private conversations going on. You can hear the people next door texting. Why is that? What kind of walls are there? We pay for bulletproof windows that let 10 mile per hour winds in. We get paper thin walls. How are you bulletproof but not windproof? Like, what does that even mean? Why are there no microwaves here? I don't understand it. Is that vending machine? Uh, the you know how much money I lost to that vending machine? That's like three weeks worth of 